Danny, have you got any stories that you can share, perhaps a hospital or something where ThreatLocker really saved an organization that shouldn't have been hit with ransomware or something else? One of the bad things about ThreatLocker actually is it's really hard to know we saved someone. I think in 2020 when SolarWinds Orion came yep. out, there was one entry and one customer log saying SolarWinds oh, was blocked going out to the internet. Didn't look malicious, didn't flag any alarms. Yep. It was only because after they came back and asked to look, we knew about it. But there was a hospital that comes to mind. So we had a customer, uh, about a thousand computer hospital, yep. and there was two hospitals in the same corporation, same network. One hospital had signed up for Threat Locker, one hospital hadn't signed up for Threat Locker. Yep. Somebody got on their network, like as a domain admin, and one hospital that didn't have Threat Locker, they completely encrypted everything. Yep. And then they got onto the computers because they had network access, RDP access, they're on the network, to the other hospital that had Threat Locker. And they obviously tried to run various ransomware over the weekend. It was all blocked. And this was just our allow listing and our zero trust approach. Not we didn't. They didn't have our EDR or our XDR. After X amount of hours trying to run it, they sent a message to the everyone group on Teams saying, your computers are useless because you're running Threat Locker. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and oh. they, they quit. And of course, they were on the machine. They could have done other things. Yeah. And they shouldn't have got on the machine if the other hospital hadn't been exposed. But I, it was a nice feeling to know that they just gave up because yeah. we made it so hard for them, their life was too miserable.